Yeah, you know, this month is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, but of course, this is something that's always relevant, and it's an issue that's become more prevalent, 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 uh, since the pandemic, because, you know, we live so much more of our lives online, even than we did just a couple of years ago. So cybersecurity is super important as it happens. Norfolk State University has a great cybersecurity program. So I reached out to one of the professors here, uh, Dr. Jonathan Graham. He's been at NSU for more than three decades, longer than I've been alive studying computers. And so he is definitely the guy to talk to about this. And he says, with so much personal information on our devices, we really need to be protecting ourselves. It all starts with making sure your computer always has some sort of antivirus software. So protection against malicious software or malware also adds another layer of security from hackers who are trying to steal your information. So a couple of ways to protect yourself there. For passwords, Graham suggests making sure there are at least eight characters and of course something nobody's going to guess. So don't make your password password, obviously. And don't store your passwords online either. Write them down at home or use a password manager so people can't steal those and get that information from you. Now, if you click on something and you think it gave you a virus or malware, that can happen sometimes. You get like a suspicious email sent to you. You want to shut down your computer immediately, he says, and get it cleaned up. I keep a backup of this stuff on your machine. Because if you have a backup and you think you've done something wrong, now you can wipe your entire machine and restart again. We all are going to get hacked at some time. We may not even know it happens, but having a backup gives you a chance to say, well, my machine is acting kind of slow or kind of crazy. Let me clean it and start again. So yes, backing up information, super important. He says an external hard drive is an option for that kind of storage, but also don't forget about those cloud options. You know, Google Drive is an option, and of course, iCloud is another. And when you're logging onto something, if multi-factor authentication is an option, meaning basically you have to confirm that it's you in a couple of different ways, they might send you a code on your phone, something like that that you gotta put in. He says definitely use that. That's another great way to make sure you're protected while you're online. We're gonna talk about some more things a little bit later here on News 3 and WGNT, some more suggestions for you, but we also have others on our website, WTKR.com. Live in Norfolk, Anthony Sabella, News 3.